Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be talking about all of the deluxe and omnibus editions of Guardians of the Galaxy that have been released so far for the modern version of the team. The more modern version of the Guardians of the Galaxy that most people know because of the very successful movies come from the Annihilation and Annihilation Conquest storylines. And since their introduction in the mid 2000s, they have been a mainstay within the Marvel Comics continuity. So this video is gonna mostly be focused on the most recent incarnation of the team, but if you are interested in the original team from the year 3000, definitely check out the Guardians of the Galaxy, Tomorrow's Avengers, Trade Paperback 1 and 2, or the Omnibus edition of this series. So to begin, my honorable mentions are the Annihilation Omnibus and the Annihilation Conquest Omnibus, which is going to be re-released later this year. What I have here is not the Omnibus, but it's actually the Deluxe Editions, which these are very difficult to find like the Omnibus is. So if you're able to find a copy of Annihilation Omnibus, definitely check that out. And I would also recommend the follow-up series, Annihilation Conquest. It's just as epic and awesome as the original series was. So with that said, let's go through all the Guardians of the Galaxy Omnibus and Deluxe Editions for the modern team right now. The first on our list is Guardians of the Galaxy Solo Classics. What this does is it follows the adventures of all the characters of the Guardians of the Galaxy before the formation of the team. Most of the stories here range from the 1970s to the late 1980s. This omnibus is cool because it has a lot of highlights from the big things that happened in Marvel Comics from the 70s and 80s. And we get to see the involvement of the characters of Guardians of the Galaxy in the larger Marvel Comics universe. There's definitely a lot packed in here and it takes place over a long period of time and it's a very thick omnibus. So instead of going down through the breakthrough of everything, I'll just give you guys a quick look at what it contains. So feel free to pause the video right here. Here's the back of the omnibus. You can see all those awesome thumbnails that shows all the contents of this omnibus. And right there at the corner, you can see exactly what's contained in this omnibus. A lot of stuff. This is a massive omnibus and it's an awesome collection. This is definitely a cool highlight reel kind of story where it shows just highlights from all these characters' lives before the whole Annihilation event. And there's a lot of cornerstone moments in this omnibus as well, like the death of Captain Marvel and the Avengers first taking on Thanos. Definitely a fun retro omnibus and it retails for $125 and you can usually find it for a good discounted price because it's still in print. I should note that I'm going to try and keep this stuff in chronological order, so right after this omnibus, if you read Annihilation, you'd be all caught up on these characters and what you need to know about them. And coming out of Annihilation Conquest, we get the Guardians of the Galaxy team that everybody knows, Guardians of the Galaxy by Dan Abnett and Andy Landing. This contains the entire 2008 series, issues 1-25, through 25, Thanos Imperative 1-6, through 6, and Thanos Imperative Ignition number 1, so you get a lot of extra bang for your buck in this. And basically you get to see the fundamentals of who the Guardians of the Galaxy are right in this one book. Without this book, we have not got the Guardians of the Galaxy in the way we have in the movies because the movies heavily take from this series. This omnibus retails for $100 and it's still in print, so it's probably really easy to find currently. So the next on our list is Guardians of the Galaxy by Brian Michael Bendis Volume 1. Unfortunately, there was not a continuation of this omnibus series. So we get one volume and then we get deluxe editions after that. So after the completion of the 2008 series, there was a big hiatus with the characters of the Guardians of the Galaxy because of the events of Thanos Imperative. I don't want to get into spoilers, but something happens that causes the Guardians to disappear for a while. And it's not until Avengers Assembled by Brian Michael Bendis that we see the Guardians of the Galaxy come back into main continuity. This omnibus contains issues 1 through 27 of Brian Michael Bendis' run with a bunch of tie-ins. One thing I do want to warn you guys about this omnibus though is there's a crossover with the X-Men called Black Vortex and this collects only the issues of Guardians of the Galaxy from that crossover. So you're missing the bookends and you're missing a lot of the chapters. Luckily though that story is collected in a deluxe edition as well and we'll actually get into that one next. This omnibus retails for $125 bucks, but because it's still in print and it wasn't continued a lot of the times you can find it for a pretty decent price. So next on our list is one I just talked about briefly for a second. This is Guardians of the Galaxy and X-Men The Black Vortex. So this is also a deluxe edition so it's the same height as an omnibus and same width. I personally kind of find it a little annoying that they didn't just cram in the missing chapters into this omnibus because it's a pretty thin deluxe edition and I can't help but think they could have probably made it work into this omnibus. So it is what it is. This contains issues of X-Men that was also written by Brian Michael Bendis, a bunch of tie-ins, and the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff that's collected in here. And it has the bookends written by Brian Michael Bendis that were one-shots called Black Vortex Alpha and Black Vortex Omega. This deluxe edition retails for $49.99 and honestly that's a little bit of a hefty price for the size. I believe if you go onto some auction sites you could probably find it for a lot cheaper than that right now. So number five on our list is Guardians of the Galaxy Deluxe Edition Volume 4. The reason why I have Volume 4 here is because the first three volumes are actually collected in the Brian Michael Bendis Omnibus. 
So it gets a little confusing because a lot of the times when you're collecting Omnis and they don't come out with the rest of an Omnibus series, you have to end up just getting deluxe editions to make it look nice on your shelf. Woe is me. So in 2015, the Secret Wars event slightly rebooted the Marvel Comics universe, and Brian Michael Bendis actually started rewriting Guardians of the Galaxy in that slightly rebooted universe. So this collects issues 1 through 10 of the rebooted series by Brian Michael Bendis. Marvel is always rebooting their titles and going back to issue 1 just to boost sales. It's a little annoying, but if you've been in the comic book game for a while, you kind of just get used to it and move on. And that one leads us to Guardians of the Galaxy by Brian Michael Bendis, Volume 5, the Deluxe Edition. So this rounds out Brian Michael Bendis' run on the Guardians of the Galaxy. So this Deluxe Edition contains issues 11 through 19 of the 2015 series, and an additional story from a free comic book day comic book. This omnibus also retails for $34.99 like the last one did. I don't know if I mentioned that, but both of these are $34.99 each, and you can usually find them for a little bit cheaper just because they were overprinted. And there isn't really too much of a high demand for these books just yet. So just to reiterate, in case you want the entire Brian Michael Bendis run in omnibus or deluxe form, you're going to have to get the first volume of the omnibus, the Black Vortex Deluxe Edition, and then volumes 4 and 5 of the 2015 series. Not the best looking collection because it's not very consistent, but at least you'll have everything there in the same size. So the next on our list is Guardians of the Galaxy by Jerry Dugan. This is an omnibus, but it's a little bit smaller of an omnibus. It collects issues of 1 through 12 of the 2017 series, and then issues 146 through 150 because they changed back to the legacy numbering. So again, further complicating everything by changing the numbers around. It gets a little annoying, but again, just kind of comes with the territory. So for a smaller omnibus, this is a $75 retail, which is kind of strange because it's so much closer to a deluxe edition than it is an omnibus, but it does contain all of Jerry Dugan's run. And this story actually leads up into Infinity Wars, which is a crossover event that Jerry Dugan spearheaded. And there's a deluxe edition of that as well out there. Hey, before we wrap up, guys, I did forget to mention that there is an Infinity Wars deluxe edition hardcover, which is actually takes place after the Jerry Dugan run and right before the Dying Cates run. So definitely check this out too, right in the middle of those Guardians of the Galaxy collections. And then finally, our most recent release is Guardians of the Galaxy by Donny Cates. This is the deluxe edition, so similar in size to the smaller Omni, but a lot cheaper. This retails for $34.99, and it collects the entire run by Donny Cates. This is a really cool run because it piggybacks off of his work on Thanos and Cosmic Ghost Rider and just everything else in the Cosmic Universe happening with Marvel Comics currently. So if you're a fan of Donny Cates or just Guardians of the Galaxy at all, then definitely check out this book because it is definitely a good way to get caught up on all the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff post-Infinity Wars. So that's it guys. If you read most of these in the order that I presented them, then you're actually going to have a pretty good understanding of who the Guardians of the Galaxy are in the comics at least. And it's really nice that everything that Guardians of the Galaxy has come out with since 2008 has been collected in an omnibus or deluxe form. I hope we don't have to wait too long for the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie to come out because I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I want to hear if you guys are too. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. It's time to jump off the omnibus.